What's up, all? It's me, Trivix. I'm playing the Munda Nugu Witch Doctor set. It's the new set for season 20. And I'm going to see if I can beat a greater of 119. The reason I picked 119 is because that's how high I could clear with a wizard. And I would like to be able to say they're equally tuned. Um, they're both very squishy builds, but once you get used to playing them, you can do well. I got a good mob type here. It's like a bunch of melee guys. They seem to be giving me good progression too. Oh, Lacunis, I spoke too soon. I want to get rid of this phase beast because he can really hurt me with his huge melee attacks. That was a good kill. Uh, the pylons I look out for are channeling pylons. And shield pylon, since it's such a squishy build, the channeling pylon allows me... Or a conduit, sure. The, the channeling pylon allows me to um, use my invincibility more often. My spirit walk. And also Big Bad Voodoo seems to be up 100% of the time then. Which I haven't checked... But I have like a big bad voodoo icon that's like always up. So I don't know if big bad voodoo just lasts 100% of the time as long as you're not dying. I'll have to research that. Or maybe I just said I have enough cooldown. And I'm using the uh, cooldown reduction passive. When you get kills you get cooldown reduction. I'm not using a cheat death which would probably help but... I'm um, using the Grave Injustice, or I forget what it's called. I'll, have to, I'll show my gear and pass it after the clear. Confidence Ritual, yeah, that's the one that I picked instead of the uh, Cheat Death. So, uh... The Hydro Wizard seems to be a little bit easier to clear with. It is pretty much squishy. It's squishy too, though. Um, hope I get a good next map. Uh, the thing is, uh, with a support Barb and a support Monk, I'm pretty sure that... Ooh, another good map. Good mob type. Awesome. Oh, uh, yeah, with support, I'm pretty sure... That the Witch Doctor is going to be better. Just because it clears trash so good. Oh, Speed Pylon is actually super good. Oh, no! I'm going to pop... Uh, what do I do? Take the Pylon. The attack speed lets me just delete enemies. It's too bad I died trying to get it though. I'm going to retreat a little bit, since it's a big pack, just let them come to me.
Like I said, I'll show my gear and passives and skills at the end of the rift. Shield pylon. Ooh, give me that. Give me that. I should be able to just delete this boss with a shield pylon. Or this elite. Oh, double elite. Nice. That's going to be some nice progress. <laughs> wow. Wow. I want to pull extra mobs for this uh, since I have the shield pylon, but I don't want to pull too much and let the shield pylon run out while I'm fighting this. Okay, the shield pylon's running out soon. Okay, it's gone. Hope I get a good next map. So, uh, one thing that's different about past builds is that we only need Locust Swarm to proc uh, Ring of Emptiness. Uh, Ring of Emptiness gives like 300% more damage. But, uh, uh, so, ooh, this is a good map. I like this map. So, Ring of Emptiness used to require, the old Ring of Emptiness required both Haunt and Locust Swarm. The new version is only haunt or locust form so now we get to use piranado and that really helps crowd control everything oh this is not a good mob type for this elite I don't like archers oh their health link I was wondering why they weren't dying very fast. They'll all die at the same time, so that's cool. Oh, that hurt. Okay. We're nearing the end, so I want to start playing a little more aggressively because I have more confidence. I don't want to blow it, though. <laughs> I might look for a 99% pylon, if that's possible. If I don't get one on the next map. What's this? Alright, we got a pylon. Uh, I might have to save that for the boss, to be honest. Juggernaut. I would like to spawn the boss soon, please. Okay, I'm at 95%, so the one elite kill will spawn the boss. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the pylon. That helped a lot. Now we're on the rift card. Make sure you're not too far away 
when you're getting your stacks of uh, soul harvest. Because I made that mistake. I pushed soul harvest and I wasn't in range of the boss and I lost my stacks. That was the worst possible thing. So this looks like it's going to be a kill. Alright, my pylon ended. Yeah! Rank 136. Bump, 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 bump. So I did a 119. I'll show my gear now. Uh, so this helmet is amazing. <laughs> Crit chance, mana regen, spirit barrage damage, and then it's augmented in a socket. Uh, so the six set spirit barrage deals increased damage equal to 50% of your mana regen per second, which is why I have this helmet that way, crit chance, mana regen, spirit barrage. I rolled off the int. Now this, I could have gone with vitality, which is fine and everything, but I went with uh, resource cost reduction because I'm using Captain Crimson's. And uh, damage dealt is increased by your percentage of cooldown reduction. Damage taken is reduced by your percentage of resource cost reduction. Uh, you're going to want cold int crit life per hit on your bracers. Uh, that's something Rax, Rax Antarex told me. Or that's what he said in his video. Because it helps you heal and stay alive. Uh, Traveler's Pledge, Compass Rose. Uh, when you're moving, you stay alive. When you're staying still, you do more damage. This is what my weapon looks like. Uh, you could go attack speed instead of mana regen, but that's what I hear. But... I don't trust that. The six piece is literally mana regen. So um, I went damage, int, mana regen, socket. Ring of emptiness, damage, crit, crit, socket. So uh, my my legendary gems is a 128 bane of the trapped, 117 enforcer, and 127 bane of the stricken. I have random augments ranging from 100 to 120. Here's my gloves. Ideally, you'd want attack speed, because attack speed is just so nice on this build. But the vitality doesn't hurt either. Armor, infant armor, that's pretty good. Infant movement speed, spirit barrage. Uh, I think infant armor, spirit barrage would be best. Infant crit chance, cooldown, mana regen. I did not roll this. I did not... Uh, Enchant this at the Mystic because I I guess like you could go resource cost reduction instead of vitality for more damage res resi resistance or damage reduction instead of straight vitality. I have a million hit points. <laughs> I have almost three million damage. Um, the thing is, on the PTR when you don't know the build very well, um, you don't clear as high as you'll clear in the season because like season. You're like try harding really bad. Or really good, I guess you could say. You you try hard on the season. So, um Usually I clear about four greater rifts higher in the season than I do in the non season PTR. So I guess I, I'm expecting to clear a one twenty three with Wizard and Witch Doctor next season. And yeah, this is called a Mundanugu's Regalia. Big Bad Voodoo now follows you and lasts twice as long. That seems to last forever, or it seems to last until the next one's up. Gain 60% damage reduction for 30 seconds when you enter the Spirit Realm, which is uh, Spirit Walk. And Spirit Barrage shields damage equal to 50% of your mana regen per second, which is why I have it on the helmet, the weapon, and the offhand. Uh, my passives are Rush of Essence. Spirit spells return 100 mana over 10 seconds, which means um, that regen counts towards your six-piece bonus. Grave Injustice 
It's uh, you get life, mana, cooldown reduction when an enemy dies within 20 yards, creeping death, haunt, locust form. Um, and the damage amplification from piranhas lasts almost forever. So, your locust form won't run out to proc your ring of emptiness. Confidence ritual, uh, you're you deal 25% additional damage to enemies within 20 yards. That's pretty good. So, Locust Swarm, Cloud of Insects. It's a damage... Enemies affected deal 25% reduced damage. That's really good. Spirit Barrage, Mana 2. It's a 6,000% damage attack. And you're also getting the Phantasm Rune from uh, the offhand. Big Bad Voodoo. Uh, Rain Dance. Uh, what is it? Uh... Attack speed, movement speed, uh, 250 mana per second while standing in the ritual area. So that's gonna do your six piece set. Uh, the two, the mana per second is gonna give you damage for your six piece set. Soul harvest, languish, uh, 10% armor, uh, for every stack. You get 10 stacks with soul harvest in the cube. Spirit walk, healing journey. Gain 15% of your maximum life when you activate Spirit Walk. Piranha's Piranado. It um, it basically just crowd controls them. It brings them all together and makes them so they can't attack for a while. They take 15% increased damage uh, in the cube. So Sacred Harvester. Yeah, that's the one that gives you 10 stacks of Soul Harvest. That's really good for damage reduction. Mask of Duram. Pet Steel, 200% increased damage. Um, That works on the Phantasm Rune of Spirit Barrage. That's why we use Enforcer. Because the Phantasm Rune uh, counts as a pet. And Ring of Royal Grandeur to get Captain Crimson's. Alright, all. That was my 119. It seems like if you want to go Wizard or Witch Doctor... I can push the same, I can push a 119 with both of them, but I think Witch Doctor will be a lot better in groups with a, a Z Monk and a Z Barb. You'll be doing speed 120s, uh, which uh, the Wizard will not be doing that. The Witch Doctor will be doing speed 120s with like an RGK, Z Monk, Z Barb. Um, that's, the Wizard will not be invited to groups, but if you're just solo, um, Witch Doctor. Or Wizard are both good. The new sets are fun. Alright. Hope you all liked the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.